was it like when you put your first video on YouTube? Did you have the intentions of becoming this and playing this big arena? Or did you think that would happen or was it just kind of for fun? Um, it was not anything that I was expecting, no. Um, but I put something on because my friend wanted me to put something on. Um, it wasn't my first choice, to be honest. Um, and, you know, everything just kind of worked out to where now I'm uh, Selena's parents or my, my managers and things like that. So it's been crazy lately, but no, it was nothing that I expected. Um, it wasn't my intention when putting up a video anyway. I was just like, well, I kind of want to do it the old fashioned way, you know, come up with, out with an album randomly and see what happens. You know, I didn't expect the whole YouTube thing to go along with it. But. Now, before this happened, did you have plans to become an artist and become a singer? Did you have anything else in mind? Oh, I've always wanted to be a singer <laughs> my whole life. It was never like a, a, a hobby. I mean, it always was, but it was more like a passion than a, than a hobby. I just always did it, and I always knew growing up that I wanted to be a singer, you know. And a uh, piano didn't come in until I was like 10, though. Um, so I got a later start on that. But singing, I've always, always wanted to be a singer. Now, as someone who isn't very musically talented, I read that you do all of your notes by ear. You don't know how to read music. Is that true? So how did you like? How did you start doing that? Do you have any advice for someone that maybe want to try to pick it up? Oh gosh, see, this is where I'm. I'm it's it's hard for me to explain because I don't I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of like hear a song and yeah. You know, if you hear notes, you just play them. You know, like you just pick it up. But um, if you want to learn by ear, I know that colleges teach you ear stuff, and I I don't know what they teach there because I I don't know how I would teach to play by ear, but. Um, you know, it's, it also is the passion that you have, you know, if you have a passion that you're driven to, to learn how to play by ear, I'm sure, I'm sure it will just come to you. like nervous when you go on stage you get stage fright and I know one of your songs say imagine everybody in their birthday suit do you do that when you're on stage do you have any tips or actually I've never imagined anybody in their birthday suit ever um, but um, I, I've always had an issue with being nervous my whole life um, and that is actually one of the, the problems that I've been having you know before prior to the tour you know any performances that I did I was just like so nervous I get really anxious and I'd, I'd shake and it was bad but um, ever since this tour actually I've been getting you know it's we have shows like every night pretty much so I've been getting really used to it and I haven't I haven't been as nervous as I always was when I was younger so it's really cool like seeing myself get over that and um, recently I know I haven't been as nervous which is good. Now I'm sure this is a huge change in lifestyle touring and going out on the road every night. What is that like? Are you with your parents? Are you with your family? And what is the daily schedule for you like? Um, well, no, I'm actually with my brother. He's been on the tour with me. My mom is coming with me for five days to be a mom. And then she's switching with my brother in uh, Maryland again. So my brother gets to come back. And um, it's the daily routine for a show is, you know, you wake up at 11 if you want you can wake up early but I like waking up later on a tour because I have nothing to do like until sound check and stuff anyway so you pretty much just watch TV eat do whatever exercise do whatever you want to do in your free time because believe it or not show days you just have a lot of free time um, sound checks one thing you have to be there for and show time and you know um, I watched Selena's show in the beginning and then I just stopped watching her show because I've seen it so many times and I just go back and lay down or something so now every night you take the time to meet with fans have you ever had any weird fan experiences or any fan moments or emails anything funny from them I've had a lot of, of awesome fan moments they're so great and I love them um, but I there's one in particular that just made me cry and I don't I don't always cry at like little things but they, they had this note and it was on this giant piece of paper and, and it was like front and back this, I guess 11 years old maybe sh she wrote it and it is the most, it was like the sweetest letter I've ever gotten. Like she hit every point like, I want to be just like you. You're so inspirational. You don't sing songs about, you know, sex and stuff. You sing about like real stuff. And it was just so sweet. Like the whole thing I showed my mom. I was like, here mom, you want to cry? Read this. <laughs> and it's just like, that was one of my 
most emotional well I've had a lot of emotional ones but that was just like I've never gotten so emotional over a letter before <laughs> and I just won't let you win. process for that like the writing process was it long and tedious or did it go really fast um most of it you just have fun so it goes really fast um I've had some writing sessions that are like man like they could have gone better but um it's all who you're collaborating with um you have to click but overall I like the recording process but I would I'm I'm a live person like I would I love live so much better than <laughs> recording because you know everything is like you know, has to be perfect. And I'm a perfectionist, which is even worse. When you're in the studio behind a mic, if you do something that you don't like, you're like, no, 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 I gotta do it again. And you're in there for hours and hours, but it's all what you want the finished product to be. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's good. Any dream collaborations or duets with any stars, artists, bands that you like? Um, I would really love to do a song with Skrillex. He's actually like a dubstep -y artist and uh, he, I just I love him. I he, all his his music is just so heavy, and I love like the heavy, random, sloppy stuff that he does. And yeah, <laughs> everybody knows at this point that I love him. Um, Christina Aguilera is another one of those. Um, I'd love to sing with her, but Skrillex, as of now, I would love if he remix a song of mine. That would be cool. <laughs> Christina Grimmy and you can check me out on Facebook.com slash Christina Grimmy, um, YouTube.com slash Christina Grimmy, and Twitter.com slash The Real Grimmy.